been for a few reasons. Uh, one of them has been I built a brand new PC. I have an entirely new computer. And it was a little noisy at first. I wasn't able to find out why. It was making a lot of sound. And just recently I found out that the fans I got were causing most of the sound. And I had to turn down the fan speed by a lot. They were going up to like 1600 rotations or something crazy like that. But it was making a lot of sound and every time I tried to record it, it would always be really loud in the background. I'm pretty sure you can still hear it or not the fans. Right now I have them all turned off, but my liquid cooler, the pump is a little noisy sometimes. little problem with it or it's kind of gurgling a little bit but hopefully it's not too noticeable or too noisy it it was kind of driving me crazy how loud it used to be but i i should have worked out almost everything and i have almost my room is most it should be mostly less noisy i guess I know it's a little late, and I had something a little different planned for this, I guess, this new video. I had planned to dress up and record myself, because it was Halloween, and I planned to make this video dressed up in my Halloween costume, but I don't have a camera. I could use my phone, but I couldn't prop it up. The, be the best way to do it probably would have been to tape it to my wall. It wasn't really viable, but I hope you've all had a nice Halloween, and today I'll be talking about how Halloween came to be and its history. Not a lot of you may know, but Halloween used to be a Celtic holiday, and modern day Halloween has been influenced by Celtic, by the Celts, and also by a lot of Christ Christian influence. Its origins can be traced back around 2,000 years, where the Celts, who used to live around Ireland, some parts around Scotland, England, there used to be some in northern France, the Isle of Man, and they were scattered throughout Europe. November 1st was considered the Celtic New Year, and it marked the time where summer and harvest ends, and brought the harsh cold winters which was associated with human death. The Celts believed that the night before November 1st, the boundaries between the living and the dead became blurred, and that spirits and ghosts of the dead were able to return to Earth once again. They were said the souls of the dead were to return to seek hospitality, and people would set dinner tables and a fire to welcome them. Because of the presence of these otherworldly spirits, they thought that the Joys, or Celtic priests, were able to make more accurate predictions about the future. These people relied on their Druids, or their priests, to make predictions about their harvest. So these priests were the source of comfort, or they would warn about the coming dangers of the new, of the coming winter. During this, Druids would create large sacred bonfires to sacrifice animals or to burn crops to their deities, and during this, the Celts would wear costumes, usually animal heads or skins, and would attempt to tell each other's futures, especially fut fortunes regarding both death and marriage. Apples were also frequently used, and so were nuts. People would partake in apple bobbing, nut roasting, scrying, divination, dream interpretation, and much more activities. Around the 16th century, mummying and guising became a part of the commemoration, and it would involve people going house to house in the skies, and they would recite a verse or song in exchange for food. 
This may have evolved from a tradition where people impersonated the, the souls of the dead. It is suggested that the, the mummer, mummers and geysers personified the old spirits of the winter who demanded reward in exchange for good fortune. From the 18th century, people would play pranks in the highlands in Ireland. Pranksters would use hollow turnips or mango wurzels, often where mangled faces were carved in. This spread throughout parts of England and later became known as Jack O. Lanterns. Now, for the Christian's influence. In Christianity, Halloween is the day before All Hallows Day, which gives the holiday which makes Halloween land on October 31st, which is All Hallows Eve. In Christianity, major, major feasts were had the night before holidays, and there were three days of celebrating saints and praying for souls to reach heaven. On the 13th of May, 609 AD, Pope Boniface the Fourth dedicated a pantheon in Rome in honor for Christian martyrs. In 835 AD, All Hallows Day switched to November 1st, the same day as Samhain, by Pope Gregory IV. Some believe that this was due to Celtic influence, and others believe that it was an adopted Germanic idea. There are different ideas on why it may have been switched, and some believe that it was done due to the time being a dying time in nature. By the end of the 12th century, all Hallows Day and All Hallows Eve had become holy days of obligation across Europe and evolved traditions such as ringing church bells for the souls in purgatory. In addition, it was customary for cries, criers dressed in black to parade the streets ringing a bell of mournful sound and calling on all good Christians to remember the poor souls. Souling the custom of baking and sharing soul cakes for all Christ and souls has been suggested as the origin of trick-or-treating. Groups of poor people, often children, would go door-to-door -door during All Hallows Tide collecting soul cakes in exchange for praying for the dead, especially the souls of the giver's friends and relatives. While souling, Christians would carry with them lanterns made of hollowed-out turnips. Many Christians in mainland Europe, especially in France, believe that once a year on Halloween, the dead of the churchyards rose for one wild, hideous carnival, known as the Dance Macabre, which has often been depicted in church decoration. So, that has been the origin of Halloween. It's been influenced both by the Celts and a lot by Christian influence. I know this is a lot, this video is a lot shorter than my other ones, but this is mostly a test of me testing out my sound on my PC. Because if this comes out great, or if the sound comes out how it's supposed to, then I will make videos more often because then makes it a lot easier for me to record but I hope that my my AIO wasn't too loud and I hope that you will have a good night and I apologize for not being able to record myself in my Halloween costume as much as I wanted to I couldn't really find a way to 